A nightmarish saga unfolded in Mexico City following the kidnapping and brutal rape of a 20-year-old. Yaquiri Alpart Rubi Rubio was grabbed off the street by two brothers on December 9th of last year and dragged to a nearby hotel, where according to reports, the men were given a free room. Rubio was sexually and physically tortured by the men Miguel Angel Rodriguez Anaya and Luis Omar Anaya before Miguel brandished a knife and started to stab her, ostensibly attempting to kill Rubio. However, Rubio fought back and managed to gain possession of the knife, stabbing Miguel in the neck. The two men ran from the room and Miguel eventually died as a result of the stab wounds. Rubio then bolted from the hotel room, half naked and screaming, to a local ice cream parlor. The workers called the police, who after arriving began searching for the two men. However, when the police captured Luis Anaya, he told them that Rubio had stabbed and killed his brother. Not surprisingly, the Mexican police promptly arrested Rubio for the killing and put her in jail. As if Rubio's predicament couldn't get any worse, she was given no medical treatment at the jail, although the paramedics did treat her wounded arm, and despite Mexican law stating that rape victims should be examined for sexually transmitted diseases, and given an emergency contraception pill, Rubio was refused both. In addition, the district attorney from Distrito Federal initially said Rubio had not been sexually assaulted, but later recanted that statement. The district attorney also said a few days ago that they somehow lost the photos they took of her injuries. Poof, they're gone. News has also come out that based on phone records and a text on the deceased man's phone, Yakiri and Miguel knew each other prior to the incident. This revelation is only important because Yakiri told authorities that she had never seen the men before. Regardless, this heinous act perpetrated against Rubio should be dealt with as what it is. Kidnapping, rape, attempted murder, and finally, self-defense. Unfortunately, Yakiri still sits in a jail cell charged with the murder of one of her two abductors and rapists.